Welcome to the most popular of the unpopular channels. I'm your host, Fen, and this is War or Thief. It's the same thing in the end. Last time, I managed to open this thing by finding a switch that I kept missing for some inexplicable reason. This time, I'm going up a rope, apparently, which... Oh, hey, I thought this was a full floor up here, but no, apparently it's just a platform <laughs> with a couple of books. Oh, well, I've successfully created a crystal lamp that can be turned on and off with a normal switch. <laughs> this is fantastic, but I'm not sure what I used in the experiment. I must find out. How can you not be sure what you used? Ass. Eh. Some freaking hammer haunt heard me or some... What? What? There's... Gah. Let's try that again. Is this a broken window with bars in it? Well, you can see the bars, but they're vertical and horizontal. That's not what I was told. So, apparently there's a ghostly child in this room, and I can't seem to get any higher at all. Looking into a mirror. <laughs> that... weird. The mirror is reflecting off the floor when it should be directly on the floor, and there's some gas in that chamber. Weird. Oh, I thought that face was all messed up. Man, I have no idea what's even going on. That kid seems to have a haunt sort of sound scheme. How to plague my sister. The little death number 100. Take 100 grams dried chili and blend with some of Papa's 90% alcohol. Leave it well sealed for three weeks. Then filter out the chili and carefully evaporate the alcohol in a double boiler. Warning, do not conduct this near fire. All that is left is an oily red substance, an extract, where only a drop can burn the tongue of most people if this stuff doesn't frighten little sister. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, then. Well, that's very mean and hardcore, and that dresser is, like, weird. It's not really against a wall. It's sort of oddly placed and pointless. This kid seems to be a pirate. Guess I can get with that. I don't see what... Is that a boiler or something? Why is the door, like, all door-shaped? How to plague my sister, the little death number 37. You start to act soulless while staring into the mirror. A little groaning like the zombies of that time supports the effect. You can lift your arms like them and stalk across the room, and it seems as though you cannot gaze at anything. The last time little sister could really run fast. Uh, I don't get it. What do you mean it seems like you can't gaze at anything? The mirror's weird. She's standing higher in that mirror than she is on the floor. Whatever. How to play my sister, the little death number 51. You can nick some of Papa's glowing crystals and grind them into a powder, then slather yourself with it. After that, at night when it gets dark, you run rumbling, groaning, or insanely laughing across the room. Additionally, every now and then you can whisper something about killing or dismembering, best followed by insane giggling. The effect is that the next night, little sister is not going to be able to sleep in this room. Why does she hate her sister so much? Seriously. You. Uh, that's pretty harsh. Like, are you for real or are you quote-unquote pretending? Because you're pretending to be pretty freaking strong there. Oh, weird. Well, I guess this is a red room. It's at least some kind of a bedroom. It's got a nice little bar of purple around it, though. That's pretty great. Well, it's pinkish. That gas lamp probably can't be put out. Okay, well. <laughs> Time to try one of my keys. Oh, what do you know? I don't have one for this door. Well, that's an amazing shocker! I don't get it. Am I supposed to blackjack her or something? Well, obviously I can't. Well, there's... hmm. Suppose there's some plot reason for this. There's blood on the bed. Why is she acting like this is all the game? Why does she hate her sister? Why, 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 why would siblings ever want to hate each other? <laughs> I think I see a keeper looking book on top of this here shelf. And a spider? <laughs> I guess... Oh! Moritz, he's a spider. Oh, and that spider icon is realistic. What are you, crazy? Don't put a realistic spider icon in a game, you mad person. Ugh. Still don't know who Moritz is or anything, but, uh, the, the, what? Huh. Hi, I'm Finn. I like to kill children. This room makes no sense. There's like a coffin mausoleum 
facade here thing. And there's this weirdly placed dresser. And there's a kid in a mirror who writes as if she's pretending, but kind of not. The chest cannot be opened. There's blood on the bed, perhaps. <laughs> the blood with water. Of course not. That would just make the bed wet, and that's just an embarrassing thing for all involved. What? Well, great. The lights are on. I don't see why I would ever want that, but, uh, you know, hey. I've got a spider Moritz. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it, however. Like, can I drop it somewhere? Possibly? Ugh. I don't know. Can't really remember. Well, Alice might know about a key called the Dream Key. I don't know how to ask her, though. You know. Didn't see any broken windows upstairs either, except for that transparency one that looks like it had bars in it, but I tried smashing it and nothing happened. Mostly because I can't really reach it. Also, I tried fire arrowing it and nothing happens. What room? That room? Oh, that's some great writing! Sorry, but this is really dumb. I come up here, I go to all the incredible effort to find the switch to come up here. I find some notes that are just silly and have nothing to do with any hints. I find a spider called Moritz, who some guy lost and he talks about a broken window pane in quote unquote that room, which I have no idea what room it is, being almost empty. Clearly there isn't any room I've been in yet because I don't see any broken window panes here at all. And I mean, what, is there going to be another s Oh, there is. You see, kids, ranting solves everything. <laughs> I don't like switch hunts. Alice has been different ever since this mirror was put in our room. She's become more and more wicked. She bothers me continuously. Once, when she gave me a biscuit, I thought she was back to her old self. But afterwards, I felt so sick, I thought I was going to die. The mirror is to blame for all of this. It seems to suck Alice's soul. For a while, she groaned like those zombies that walked in the catacombs where Papa worked in the past. But now she always laughs maliciously. And that clank of chains, what is the trick behind this? Since she lost her doll, she's become really obnoxious. I'm terrified of her. The Alice in the mirror seems to be more normal. I wish I could go through the mirror. I could be with the real Alice then. And I also think that there may be great treasures behind the mirror. But probably I will never go there. It's more likely Alice will kill me. Well, why does she sound like she's pretending and stuff? <laughs> this is weird. Anyways, what have we in this room? Hopefully something key-shaped, perhaps? Or maybe yet another tiny... Switch, hunt, well there's that, but it probably just closes this thing back, I'm sure. Because I can't seem to reach it very well. Yes. Oh, I see. Huh. Actually, <laughs> seems like a better idea. Okay, so now this floor is now more normal. Well, that's weird and interesting. Well... I guess, I guess that guard is going to be knocked out or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, it's a glowy crystal. Off-camera searching sure does take it out of my vocal cords. Oh, for some reason, well, it takes it out of my peppiness anyway. Okay, so, I don't know if I got a key for some of these, but I guess I don't need it, so hey, that's that's alright, I suppose. Oh, stop taking forever to get the last bit of lockpick out of the lock! Jeez! How mildly irritating! Oh! I really am an alchemist. It is incredible fun, and I love glass crystals. You can make so much with them. Recently, I acquired an extraordinary crystal. Very valuable. I was able to afford it, as my inventions have made me so rich. <laughs> Only this mirror... A strange thing. Alice loves it, though, but I've written about that already. <laughs> okay, for some reason I get an objective change and or complete for that. You should find out more about this alchemist. It could be useful in the future. An extraordinary crystal sounds worthwhile. Find it. What does the note say about the mirror? Strange. Learn more about this mirror, too. Oh, wow. Tons more objectives. Front door key. <laughs> Great. Don't give me a key for this floor or anything. Oh, top floor key. <laughs> okay, then do. Wow. 
The new glass I invented glows. I thought it could be used as a window pane, but now it's lost. I suspected Alice, but of course she does not know anything. <laughs> I would like to know, too, how she and her sister can leave their room without me realizing. There is no point in locking them up in their room. They always find a way to get out, even in the deep of the night. And now Alice's sister has vanished without a trace. I have to speak to Alice about this matter later. <laughs> Neither of them can behave. They always have to argue. Just the other day, they had a fight. I do not know what to do with the pair of them. Is Alice at fault? Or is her sister? The fight was not on Alice's bed, so maybe not hers. But what does it matter? I'll have to speak to both of them about this later. Man, this guy's an asshole. Later, 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 later. You pile up enough tomorrows and you wind up with nothing but a lot of empty yesterdays. Maid Marion. Oh, hey, staircase key. That's that's weird. I guess I can get down the normal way now and finally see those glowing crystals in the staircase I keep hearing so much about. Jeez, freaking heck, mate. Freaking heck. Oh, hey. There's a suspicious banner behind the statue. I can't do anything with it on account of not having a sword. But hey, this room is also suspicious as there does not appear to be anything in it other than a book, which I can't read. Suspicious! Weird. There's like corner doors. That's interesting. Not necessarily helpful, but that's okay. I've got like three or four freaking different keys and an entire floor to explore. So, let's get back to it. I guess the top floor key would... Oh, hey, it's a guard. Who was Whoa! I saw something. It's a guard! Whoa! The new hit oh, single. Well, no, no it isn't. Not a hit anyway. Hey. Although it might remain Did single for the rest of his life. Shut up! Give up if you like, son. It won't help you in the court of public opinion. <laughs> <laughs> These doors are awesome! And whoa! Oh, it's a pagan light. Which I mean, lost city light. It's not pagan at all. Anything unfamiliar is pagan! I am the quintessential 1912 American. Or sorry, American! Hear my prayer. Uh, because the stereotypical America is pretty weird, but hey, let's not stereotype anybody further, shall we? I think that's probably all there is to do in this room, I guess. I don't know, there's that room in there, but it looks like some kind of heart statue. Perhaps I will be able to snatch such a heart statue now. Oh, wait a minute. What? None of these keys... Work? Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, so... Wow, a key didn't work. That's despicable and inexplicable. Okay. Well, she freaking sat up. What? Okay, well... I guess I won't go there. I like these different colored stripes in the walls. That's a really neat effect there. I wonder if I can... Go in here. Well, possibly not, but... Oh yeah, that's into Alice's room. Surely can't let me in there now that I've already found a way in and out in the first place, so there's no point in not letting me in there, but like, hey, whatever, right? I've got a staircase, glee, 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 glee. Let's go use it. Well, I guess they get out of the room through myriad secret passages, and by myriad, I mean two, because of course, that's like a million, right? Tell you, this mission is pretty hard. Hidden stuff is hidden, and yeah. Oh, wait a minute, that's the wrong door. No, well, I could go out the front door if I wanted. It's probably just to exit said mission, though, so I probably don't really need to care about it. But hey, let's look at the sky. It's all cloudy and almost might be daytime with an overcast or something. Odd. Anyway, finally, I can get in here. Which seems to lead me to a different place where that woman is sitting, perhaps? I don't get it, though. Oh, yeah, he put the crystals under the stairs because it makes them look neat. Well, that's anticlimactic because I've already seen them in... Other places, so... Hey. Oh, no, no, he put those... Oh, I... Oh! He put those floating ones. Oh, this is awesome! The glass... Oh, man, imagine imagine this in real life somehow if you had, like, one of these floating things and you put, like, these glass... Oh, my God. Also, what... A, why would I want to turn the lights on? Yeah, these little floaty things under... Oh, it does... It looks so awesome! What's that? Speak. Well... Yes, is that you, sweetie? I don't know. <gasps> What's the point of this? I can't get through these doors. Maybe the staircase key counts as... Oh, it does. 
well, okay, that's sort of weird and pointless, but it does have these awesome looking stairs here. If only you could darken this room, that way you could get the full effect, but... Oh, wait a minute, maybe you can. Oh, let's have a look. That is so cool looking. But how did he open up the stairs? That makes no sense. They're also very loud, and I think that I'm once again left without anywhere to go. Hang on, now what's this? Max and Moritz. Oh! Well, so there's another spider or, or something? Where's that gosh darn light switch? Like, no, seriously, where is it? Oh, it's that? Well, not real. Well, kind of. Okay. So, Max and Moritz. I guess I can put this disgusting looking spider down on top of this pedestal here for some reason. Hey, come on! Put it! What are you doing? Dude! Uh, hang on. Oh, that's just... That room. All right now, friggin'... I guess that counts as on top. That's close enough. I guess I have to find some other possibly spider, possibly other beastie called Max. Well... <laughs> but with how bad I am at finding things in this here mission... Oh, wait a minute. I haven't even tried to go in here yet. Oh, great. <laughs> well, with how bad I am at finding things, I don't know if that'll happen, but... Hey, you know, we gotta try, don't we? I don't know if there'd be anything here. I mean, that's some kind of a crystal. I don't know if that's an extraordinary crystal. But, hey. What? Well, okay, I seem to have turned off the lighting effect in here. I don't know why that would require doing. Maybe that is the extraordinary crystal. What What did that note say, anyway? Very neat patterns up here, though. Kind of intricate, too. And this is pretty beautiful, actually. Oh, well, I don't know what to do here. Aha! Uh -huh. Sweet sister. She turned her into a doll? <laughs> or something? <laughs> what? What is going on here? Maybe I'm crazy, but this kind of looks funny to me. Like... The fact that there's a banner with, like, a, a statue standing in front of it that looks like it's guarding it, looks like it's covering something up. Like, I mean, is there room for there to be something? Oh, plenty of it. Well, the last two switches have been on or near window frames, so I guess I'll look around there. Hang on, though. I have found something. How to plague my sister, the little death number 88! You take the venom gland of a common sewer spider, then that you can easily find in the nearby sewer. Add a bit of henbane and cowbane. You grind up the plants and carefully mix them with the venom. You can then cautiously fill a nice cake or biscuit with this mushy gloop. After this, you watch your little sister eating and enjoying it. I think the girl in the mirror is giving somebody bad advice there. That's a weird picture. Evil looking tree. Z. Making an archway? Huh. Well, no, but I feel like I didn't check this room out here quite as thoroughly. Like, I feel like... Kind of supposed to look into there and maybe see something? Maybe that's the crystal? Because it looks all heart-shaped and stuff. Room with the chest and the red room is the same key. It's the dream key, right? Because of that note that said so. And it walks around the house. Like, that's not a hint at all and is fairly a stupid idea, but hey. Because, like, you'd no idea where it would be. It could be literally anywhere. That's not good. Hang on. This window seems to be busted open for some reason. Pfft, shrug. One thing's for sure, though. This mission is amazingly epic for it being so small in size. And whatever, whatever else it may be, I at least gotta respect that about it. Well, there's this. How to play my sister, Little Death Number Five. Whilst dining with Papa, you begin to carefully ask him about his former work as a hammerite. You probe the matter, especially on the punishing of criminals. He loves this topic, and if you are discreet enough, he starts talking about various methods of torture in minute detail. He tells absolutely everything. Hehe. <laughs> Mostly, it ends with my little sister eating backwards. Eating backwards. <laughs> Never had it called that before. Well, there's this doll. It's not called Dewdrop, making me think it wasn't just put in here as one of them references, but that it's actually her sister in doll form. I don't really remember what I would do with it. Hang on, I saw something behind here. Another book. 
The mirror is a gateway for my soul, but my body cannot follow. Sometimes I can see myself on the other side of the mirror. I can see myself moving away, but I also remain here. My sister thinks that the mirror will trap my soul. I begin to experiment with Papa's things and the mirror. Papa must not know about it, and so I chased away my sister for the time I needed to experiment. I know I will be successful, and it will be possible to step through the mirror with both soul and body. I am close. At times I manage to walk through the mirror with my body, at other times with my soul. But never both at the same time. But I will succeed, although it will take more time. My sister always disturbs me. Fortunately, I have sweet sister, for she cheers me up. At last I have a clue. I have to acquire some ingredients which Papa does not have. And if it works with them, then I will write it down, and finally be able to step through the mirror with sweet sister. She certainly will delight in all those sparkling things. Sweet sister is gone. I won't research any more until I find her. It is true, I have knowledge of the wealth and beauty in the mirror world, but I do not want to go there without her. Once I find her, I will go on. Where could she be? Hmm. Oh. Okay, I'll learn more about the mirror. Well, theoretically great, but, uh, doesn't take me that much practically closer, does it? Well, if I could, like, give it to her somehow... But, uh, well, I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, it is. What? Oh, well, okay then. Hey, amazing. Step through that mirror, man. Oh, she just opens this for me for literally this no reason? This a nice little bonus. Where Bafford Scepter? What? Why? Alice was delighted with her doll. However, she came by Bafford Scepter. She gives it to you now as reward. Well, so we don't get to stop her... There's nothing in there. From being evil. This was just a bonus objective? What? I mean... What? That's it? The mirror has nothing to do with anything other than a bonus objective and some theoretical objective here? Find out more about the alchemist, get the crystal, get 750 loot, which is like an incredible amount. Well, actually, I'm close-ish, but... Wow, that's... Really? Still no dream key, at least apparently not. There seems to look like there was something in that box in the closet, but it was empty. Uh, I wonder why. Maybe that's where the dream key is supposed to be locked up, but then it wanders around the house? I mean, okay. Well, anyways, maybe I'll figure that out next time. For now... Since I have done a deed of, like, possible goodness and possible just weirdness, I guess I'll see you guys later. So, this is turning out to be longer than I expected, but that's okay. Thanks for watching, and bye for now. Ooh.